everyone, so today I thought that I would film a little bit of a haul video because I've been doing quite a bit of online shopping recently and also last week went to London for the day with mum and picked up a few bits and bobs there so I thought I would share with you what I've been treating myself to recently. So first up I've got some beauty products and um, these are two face washes from Kiehl's Recently I've been having some problems with my skin, specifically the skin around the side of my nose. It's been really dry, but really spotty, and also really dehydrated. So I always really struggle to cater for my skin when it kind of does a bit of everything. So I thought I'd try a new face wash and also an exfoliator to try and make sure all the pores were really cleaned and I had no makeup sat there because it's a bit of a tricky place to really get into at the side of your nose. So. The first thing I picked up was this cleanser. This is called the Centella Skin Calming Facial Cleanser and it's for sensitive skin. And if you don't like foaming cleansers, which I don't really like, this is really, really, really nice and still makes your skin feel really clean and it's quite hydrating as well. So I've been loving this. And the second thing is this Skin Brightening Exfoliator. This is like a perfect everyday exfoliator. It's not too harsh at all, so you can definitely use it every single day. I use it every night when I'm taking my makeup off. Um, and it kind of doesn't foam, but sort of creams up, is what I would want to say, with water really nicely. So I'm loving this one. And I've been really scrubbing the sides of my nose to try and get any impurities out and make sure everything's really lovely and clean. So thank you Kiehl's, I am loving both of these. The next beauty product is a foundation. This is the YSL Touche Clare foundation. I've used this before and absolutely loved it. Um, as I said, the skin around my nose has been really dry so the foundation I was using was a little bit too, um, a little bit too matte really. You know when foundations kind of stick to dry skin and make it look a bit flaky and not nice? That was the problem I was having so I went back to this one and it just reminded me how much I absolutely love it. It's such a good foundation. I've got it on now. It's quite sheer but really evens out your skin tone. Really glowing. Absolutely love this foundation. Um, I think probably maybe if you have oily skin it might not be too good for you. It might be a little bit too dewy um but if you are like me and have combination skin or even dry skin i think it's a really good one i absolutely love it the next one is a bit of a strange one for a haul this is something that i got for my mum's birthday she turned 60 last weekend and she really really wanted a coffee machine so i researched loads saw which you know went to see what kind of ones are available and in the end went with this one which is one of the nespresso ones which is the ones which work with their little pods um, I had loads of people who recommended them, but if I'm honest, I sort of was, wasn't was that keen. I think I felt like they were, I don't know, like they seemed a little bit gimmicky with the pods and wouldn't taste as like coffee normally would. Um, anyway, I went and tried it, went and had a look at them and loved them, thought they seemed really good because they don't need loads of cleaning out or anything. So even though this isn't my thing, this was something that I got from my mum, we've been having cappuccinos and lattes every single day, Harry's been having espressos, things like that, so you can make all kinds of coffee with it and you just have to order the little pods online, you can order all the different flavours and they come really really quickly as well, so it's just perfect. So I thought I'd put that in and just show you how you use it and everything, um, because I've been loving that and I've been loving having a cappuccino at home and being able to Instagram it and everything like that, it's just perfect. So now I'm going to move on to some of the clothes that I have been buying recently. As I said, Mum and I went to London um, on Tuesday and we nipped into Zara. I only picked up one thing, I was quite restrained and I absolutely love what I got. It's these navy blue really long flared trousers. They're kind of like a knit in that, that they're ribbed but they're not knit in like the woolly sense. Zara do lots of kind of woolly knit trousers they're not like that i don't know if that makes any sense but they i love them they're really long they're really nice for summer and i can't wait to wear them um they're a really good length i am about five foot eight just under five foot eight and i wouldn't be able to wear them with heels they would sort of come to an awkward length if i wore them with heels so i'm gonna have to wear them with flats but if you were smaller then they're definitely gonna be 
have to be worn with heels because they are quite long so just bear that in mind if you want to go buy them. Next up um, uh, is another thing that I bought when I was in London. We went to Whistles. They had 25% off with Grazia this week so I'm a sucker for any kind of a discount code and always have to make the most of it. So I went and bought some shoes. How predictable. I've seen these online and absolutely loved them um, and needed to go try them on. You'll see why really. Um, and they were perfect so I went for them and they are these, I'll just take that tissue out, these mules, slip on loafery muley things. Um, the reason I needed to try them on is because I've got quite thin feet and obviously a shoe like this can be quite hard to keep on your foot but I've, they fit perfectly. I last year bought the tibby ones, the black tibby ones, which I wear all the time, wore them all summer, all through spring, wore them basically up until it was just too cold to wear an open back shoe. Absolutely loved them. So when I saw these online in the lighter colour, much more summery, I thought, yes, I'm definitely gonna get them because I know how much I wear them. And if you're like me, who doesn't do your feet any favours by constantly wearing uncomfortable shoes, having a backless shoe is just perfect because if you've got blisters it can give you a really good break on your heels and things like that. I also got another pair of shoes from Kos which are these slip-on trainers. I've kind of been buying flats recently. If you follow my blog or follow me on Instagram or Twitter or anything, then you may already know that about four weeks ago now, four or five weeks ago, I dislocated my knee. So I'm still on crutches and can't wear heels for quite a long time and I'm really missing them. So I'm making the most of all of my flat shoes and I've been treating myself to some more because it's all I can wear at the moment. And ever since I've got my white Stan Smiths, I've just been loving white trainers so much. Finally gave into the whole trend and did not regret it one bit. I just wear them all the time. So I saw these on course and just loved them. I love the fact that they've not got laces. I think it makes them a little bit different. They are so comfortable as well. I'm absolutely loving them. And also having a shoe I can slip on at the moment is much more helpful because tying shoelaces is really, really hard. And most of the time I have to get someone else to do it for me, which is a bit of a pain. So having something I can just slip on is really, really good. Next up are some more bits from Kos. So anybody who follows my blog will know how much I love Kos. I always order things from there. Whenever I go into the shop, I just go a little bit wild. And after a few bad experiences with their online store last year, I had accumulated a 25% discount online. So I have been biding my time and waiting for the right things to come in that I could order and really make the most of this discount. When I saw this item online, I thought, yes, that is the perfect item to use the discount on because it's quite expensive really. And it is this leather coat. I am absolutely in love with it. It's like, I think it looks a bit of a funny colour on the camera here. It's more, it's a bit of a warmer colour than it looks there. It's not quite so green. It's just a tan leather coat. Comes to about midway on your leg with just um, a clean cut lapel. Well, it's not got a lapel, has it? It's just a clean cut neckline. No buttons or anything. The most gorgeous soft leather ever. Um, I absolutely love it. Two more items now, which I also ordered from Costa using this 25% discount. The first is a black skirt. Um, this is it. Just looks like a big black blob on that screen. Um, it's a black skirt with an asymmetrical hem, so it's longer at the back, like a stepped hem, and a bit shorter at the front. And it's got loads of layers on it, and if you can see, really subtle. This is the kind of detailing which is typical of Kos, which is why I love it so much. And things which you don't really notice but come through with the movement of the clothes, if that makes sense. So it has a split in the back and loads of layers to it. I absolutely love it. The final item I have from Kos are these gorgeous, gorgeous trousers. These are kind of not in a typical me colour at all. They're like a bluey, lilac-y colour. That the colour is actually what drew me to them, which is quite odd because usually I only wear black and really muted colours. Um, but I think this is still quite muted even though it is a colour, not just black or white. And I love them. They're silk, so they've got a little bit of a sheen to them, which is really nice and that makes them look a little bit smarter. They come up a really good length on me. They fit really, really nice. Just, again, at typical cost, really nice materials, really nice cut, all 
in the details really but definitely I'm loving the colour which is quite a surprise for me and again another item I can't wait to wear on holiday when things get a little bit warmer but I'll definitely be wearing the before then and maybe with coats and things to make them a little bit more appropriate for the English spring. The final items I have to share with you are some rings. Now I am not too massive on jewellery at all. I don't often buy it, I don't often wear it. I love it, I love it on pe other people but I'm just really rubbish at remembering to put it on basically. But and I saw these online, I absolutely loved them. Um, it's, they're from a brand called Finery London, which I had never heard of and someone tweeted about it, um, saying that it was similar to cost. So obviously I was like, you need to go check this out. Went and had a look, loved it, really, really nice things. Um, I didn't order any clothes or anything, I just went for these rings, which are... So the first kind of got are these little ones here. These came in a pack of four with three silver and one kind of coppery colour. They're really, really nice. They're kind of like, a bit like a signet ring. I think that's the right word. Where they've got the, the flat bit that would in a traditional signet ring have some kind of a crest on it or something like that. I absolutely love them. They are the perfect kind of ones to stack on your fingers and wear one as a midi ring. Because they've got the open back as well, you can squish them if you wanted to wear them further up your finger or stretch them if you wanted to wear them lower down on your finger. Um, they I really like them. They're kind of really simple but a bit of a statement at the same time. And I'm finding them really, really easy to wear and I've been making an effort to wear them and not to forget to put them on, otherwise it's just a waste of money. And the other ring that I bought is this one, which is even more of a statement. It's kind of one of those hinged armoury rings that go on over your finger. So you can still bend your finger. Well, supposedly, I can't really bend it the whole way down. Um, again, it's half coppery, brassy coloured and half silver on the top half. Just I absolutely love it. I put a picture on Instagram of this and loads of people commented on it saying how amazing it looked. So that was really nice and it's stuck. <sighs> it's not stuck. Yep. So I love it. I love the hinging. Again, it's simple but a bit of a statement. Love it. Definitely. That's everything from me this time for this haul. I feel like I kind of sped through all that a bit but I didn't want it to be really long winded and waffly. So yeah um i hope you've enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and um, let me know if you want to keep me keep filming hauls um, i'm constantly shopping constantly buying things so they're kind of something that i can always do and get together my favorite bits and bobs that i've bought recently so thank you so much for watching all the links to everything that's available online that i can find online will be in the description box i'll also put some links for some similar things if it was super expensive or things in different colors stuff like that so yeah make sure you have a look down there if you've seen anything that you want to go have a look at um, and thank yes, thank you again for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you all soon.